Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Sri Krishna Chaitanya book compilation given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on February 23rd, 2022 in Chennai, India. <laughs> Continuing the Chaitanya Leela, part 2 of Ishwara Puri instructs his disciple Nimai Pandit to chant and preach Krishna Nama. Under this section, how all the residents of Varanasi became Vaishnavas. <laughs> Saying this, my spiritual master taught me a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. It is the essence of all the Bhagavatam's instructions. Therefore, he recited this verse again and again. Purpat. This verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 11.2.40 was spoken by Sri Narad Muni to Vasudeva to teach him about Bhagavad Dharma. Vasudeva had already achieved the result of Bhagavad Dharma because Lord Krishna appeared in his house as his son. Yet, in order to teach others, he desired to hear from Sri Narad Muni to be enlightened in the process of Bhagavad Dharma. This is the humbleness of a great devotee. So, had achieved perfection. So, although Vasudev had achieved perfection, he took a humble position. He took a humble position and asked Narad Muni to explain to him. And asked Narad Muni to explain to him. So, we find that in a similar way. Narayan Das Thakur had prayed to Lord Chaitanya. So we find that in a similar way, Narottam Das Thakur had, play, had prayed to Lord Chaitanya. He said, You have come to deliver all the fallen souls. He said that you had come to deliver all the fallen souls. So you will not find anyone as fallen as me. So you will not find anyone as fallen as me. Therefore I should be delivered on a priority basis. Therefore I should be delivered on a priority basis. Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila 7.94 Mahabhagavater Avastha Srimad Bhagavater Ekadashkandar Diti Oddar Cholish Nambar Sloter Hoyche when a person is actually advanced and takes pleasure in chanting the holy names of the Lord, who is very dear to him, he, he is agitated and loudly chants the holy name. He also laughs, cries, becomes agitated and chants just like a madman, not caring for outsiders. So, although the uh, Mayavari Sanyasis had criticized Lord Chaitanya. So, although the Mayavadi Sanyasis had criticized Lord Chaitanya, Lord Chaitanya was explaining why everything he did was on the order of his spiritual master. Lord Chaitanya was explaining that why everything he did was on the orders of his spiritual master. 
Vimayavadi sannyasis, I never have heard this before. So the, naya, so the Mayavadi sannyasis had never heard this before. And uh, Lord Chaitanya Bhai explaining, he was doing everything according to the Vedas. So Lord Chaitanya, by explaining, he was doing a, everything according to the Vedas. Which Mayavadis are very proud of doing. Which the Mayavadis are very proud of doing. Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila 7.95-96 Guru Agai Bhajane Dhriya Chesta Meetar Bakyami Dhriya Vishash Dhari Nirantar Krishna Nam Sankirtan Kori Bhajan Phale Shataha Kottritta Moha Sri Nam Mahaprabhu Kripa Shri Krishna Nam Kavu Gao jai na chai, gahi na chi nahi ami apono chai. I firmly believe in these words of my spiritual master, and therefore I always chant the holy name of the Lord, alone and in the association of devotees. That holy name of Lord Krishna sometimes causes me to chant and dance, and therefore I chant and dance. Please do not think that I intentionally do it. I do it automatically. Purport. A person who cannot keep his faith in the words of his spiritual master but acts independently never receives the authority to chant the holy name of the Lord. As it is said in the Vedas, Shveteshwara Upanishad 6.23 Only unto those great souls who have implicit faith in both the Lord and spiritual master are all the are all the imports of Vedic knowledge automatically revealed. This Vedic injunction is very important and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu supported it by his personal behavior. Believing in the words of his spiritual master, he introduced the Sankirtana movement just as the present Krishna consciousness movement was started with belief in the words of our spiritual master. He wanted to preach. We believed in his words and tried somehow or other to fulfill them. And now this moment has become successful all over the world. Therefore, faith in the words of the spiritual master and in the supreme personality of Godhead is the secret of success. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never disobeyed the order, orders of his spiritual master and stopped propagating the Sankirtana movement. Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, at the time of his passing away, ordered all his disciples to work conjointly to preach the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu all over the world. Later, however, some self-interested foolish disciples disobeyed his orders. Each one of them wanted to become head of the mission and they fought in the courts, neglected the orders of the spiritual master and the entire mission was defeated. We are not proud of this. However, the truth must be explained. We believed in the words of our spiritual master and started in a humble way, in a helpless way. But due to the spiritual force of the order of the supreme authority, This movement has become successful. It is to be understood that when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanted and danced, he did so by the influence of the pleasure potency of the spiritual world. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never considered the holy name of the Lord to be a material vibration, nor does any pure devotee mistake the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra to be a material musical manifestation. Lord Chaitanya never tried to be the master of the holy name. Rather, he taught us to be servants of the holy name. If one chants the holy name of the Lord just to make a show, not knowingly, not knowing the secret of success, he may increase his bile secretion. (laughs) But he will never attain perfection in chanting the holy name. 
श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु प्रेजेंटेड हिमसेल्फ इन दिस वे आई एम अ ग्रेट फूल एंड डू नॉट हैव नॉलेज ऑफ राइट एंड रॉन्ग इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द रियल मीनिंग ऑफ द वेदांत सूत्र आई नेवर फॉलोड द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द शंकरा संप्रदाय और मायावादी सन्यासीज आई एम वेरी मच अफ्रेड ऑफ द इलॉजिकल आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ द मायावादी फिलोसफर्स देर फोर आई थिंक आई हैव नो अथॉरिटी रिगार्डिंग देयर एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द वेदांत सूत्र I firmly believe that simply chanting the holy names of Lord can remove all misconceptions of the material world. I believe that simply by chanting the holy names of the Lord one can attain the shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord. In this age of quarrel and disagreement the chanting of the holy names is the only way to liberation from the material clutches. By chanting the holy name Lord Chaitanya continued I became almost mad however after inquiring from my spiritual master I have come to the conclusion that instead of striving for achievement in the four principles of religiosity dharma economic development artha sense gratification kama and liberation moksha it is better if somehow or other one develops transcendental love of godhead that is the greatest success in life one who has attained love of godhead chants and dances by his nature not caring for the public this stage of life is known as bhagavata jivana or the life of a devotee shri chaitanya mahaprabhu continued i never chanted and danced to make an artificial show i danced and chanted because i firmly believe in the words of my spiritual master Although the mayavadi philosophers do not like this chanting and dancing i nevertheless perform it on the strength of his words therefore it is to be concluded that i deserve very little credit for these activities of chanting and dancing for they are being done automatically by the grace of the supreme personality of godhead ajastas or chaitanya was following the order of his spiritual master so just as lord chaitanya was following the orders of his spiritual master and chanting the holy name and chanting the holy name samavale as i was asked about the vedanta swami baba similarly his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad I simply follow the instructions of His Divine Grace, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Has simply followed the instructions of Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And the saying of this is such as I go to the mercy. all his spiritual master and the success yeah. and if the success if success. and if there is any such success due to the mercy of his spiritual master and the sure the mercy it is due to the mercy of his spiritual master so this krishna kanta moment on the words of lord chaitanya and Our power has spread all over the world. So this Krishna consciousness movement, on the words of Lord Chaitanya and Guru, has spread all over the world. Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila seven point ninety seven. Brahmananda O Krishna Premananda Pathak Krishna Name Jayananda Sindhu Ashadhan. कंपेर्ड टू द ओशियन ऑफ ट्रांसेंडेंटल ब्लिस दैट वन टेस्ट बाई चांटिंग द हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र द प्लेजर डिराइव फ्रॉम इमपर्सनल भ्रमन रियलाइजेशन ब्रह्मानंद इज लाइक द शैलो वॉटर इन अ कैनाल परपट इन द भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु वन पॉइंट वन पॉइंट थर्टी एट इट इज स्टेटेड 
if if a brahmananda the transcendental bliss bliss derived from understanding impersonal brahman were multiplied a million times such a quality of brahmananda could not compare e with even an atomic portion of the pleasure relished in pure devotional service so chanting of the holy name of lord krishna so chanting of the holy names of lord krishna gives such unlimited transcendental pleasure gives such unlimited transcendental pleasure na is is in the hall of the brahmananda that it is incomparable with the brahmananda and so we see that people all over the world that dancing chanting so we see that people all over the world are dancing and chanting because of this great source of bliss because of this great spiritual bliss so lord chaitanya was revealing this to the apostles sanyasis so lord chaitanya was revealing this to the impersonalist sanyasis chaitanya charitamrita adi leela 7.98 हरिभक्ति सुदय चौदह अध्याय छत्तीस नंबर श्लोके रहे साक्षात्कलाधा विशुद्धाधी स्थित मे सुखा गोष्पदा थे ब्राह्मण्य जगद्गु मै डियर लॉर्ड ओ मास्टर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स सिंस आई हेव डायरेक्टली सीन यू my transcendental bliss has taken the shape of a great ocean being situated in that ocean i now realize all other so called happiness to be like the water contained in the hoof print of a calf purport the transcendental bliss enjoyed in pure devotional service is like an ocean whereas material happiness and even the happiness to be derived from the realization of impersonal brahman are just like the water in the hoof print of a calf this is a verse from the hari bhakti sudhodaya 14.36 in other words the happiness in the world or in the brahmananda ha asanaya in other words the happiness of the material world and the brahmananda are insignificant and the happiness of krishna consciousness compared to the happiness of the krishna consciousness so uh, this this is a a verse that's called and the bhakti sudaraya So this is a verse quoted from the Bhakti Sudodaya. And I thought you have an ocean of water with a little cast open. And like that, if you compare an ocean with that of a calf's hoof print, then you see that the ocean is on the other. and the whole thing is very limited as all and you will see that the ocean is unlimited and the hoof print is very limited thus ends the chapter and thus ends the chapter ishwar puri instructs his disciple nimai pandit to chant and preach krishna nama under the section how all the residents of varanasi became vaishnavas uh, so some questions so some questions you said in one lecture that for making devotees it requires buckets of blood and also for taking care of devotees it requires buckets of blood 
the question is what is the movement when we are mature enough for taking care of someone how can we learn the art of taking care of devotees i am afraid because if krishna sends someone maybe i will not be able to take care properly your insignificant servant vraja vilas gauranga das from bogota colombia and all the services we want to depend on krishna in all the services we want to depend on krishna and we pray to krishna to help us and we pray to krishna to help us so that we can guide the body appropriately so that we can guide devotees appropriately and uh, it's not that we think all oh, and okay, i'm ready i may not feel that way it's not that we think that oh we are not ready we we are ready we never feel that way we always depend on lord krishna lord chaitanya to help us we always depend on lord krishna and lord chaitanya to help us next question does krishna's omniscience mean that he know our future choices if so how is that compatible with our free will your servant eternally raman reti vrindarani devi dasi and i know what we are going to choose what we shall have the free will to choose what we want may know that what we are going to choose but we still have the free will to choose what we want and uh, we want to choose to serve krishna and we want to choose to serve krishna and uh, if he wants to know something he is not if and if he wants to know something he'll know it what what he wants to know how do we know but what he wants to know how do we know next question what if one wants to go and live in holy dham like vrindavan or mayapur and serve there only so this desire of one's how could it be fulfilled kindly enlighten guru maharaj ji your aspiring disciple kanchana ah thank you very nice question kanchana thank you for your nice question kanchana ah uh, i heard our chaitanya we said that as a search of answer well have you heard from lord chaitanya that we should ask the spiritual master to see what his instruction is to see what his instruction is and uh, of course it's recommended us one of the five things to live in a holy place and our course is recommended as five things one has to do to live in holy place so what the lord how like something about uh serving in the middle east and do that they have to take up some job and there are some people serving in the middle east due to that they have to take up some job or they how they may spread krishna consciousness but they are helping me spread krishna consciousness so sometimes are they take some sacrifice to serve the spiritual master sometimes we have to take some sacrifice to serve the spiritual master and uh, 
and they retire, ah, they may sell at Vrindavan or Mayapur. And when then they retire, they settle in Vrindavan or Mayapur. Last question. Guru Maharaj, how to be Krishna conscious? We need devotee association, but in due course of time, we take devotee association to be granted. How to maintain proper vision for devotees? Your servant, Aksh, Akshaj Bhopal. A very good question. A very good question. Uh, sometimes we take the devotees for granted. That sometimes we take devotees for granted. And we should not take the devotee cheaply for granted. And we should not take devotees cheaply for granted. We need the association of devotees. We need the association of devotees. So we should avoid offending devotees. So we should avoid offending devotees. And we should appreciate the good association they are giving us. And we should appreciate the good association that they are giving us. This in the material world and this arguments and various kinds of quarrels. In the material world, there are arguments and various kinds of quarrels. Naturally, we want to avoid those. So, naturally, we want to avoid those. And have a good association of devotees. And have the good association of devotees. So we should follow the third verse of the Shikshashtaka. And we should follow the third verse of the Shikshashtaka. Only respect to others, not respecting respect for ourselves. Offering respect to others and not expecting respect for ourselves. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Do you like our ad free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day, and don't forget to like and share our channel.